So tell me about uh, a time that was very difficult for you to preach. That could be a personal time, something in your personal life. It could be community or it could be something in the church. I asked this question, give you the context of why I asked this question is that, you know, people see preachers such as yourself as up here, you know, celebrate you and don't know the story. Right. That, you know, every preacher has at some point all that melts away and you stand in there because standing there is the only thing you can do. <laughs> right. So give me a time that, that it was tremendously difficult and you, you had to, to stand. I can give you several, but... <laughs> well, I'll take them. But, I'll, take them. But, yeah, I'll take them. But the one that, that really, um, I think the one that was probably one of the most difficult was when I had to preach for Hampton. <laughs> and I say that, and of course, you know, I'm always on edge when I preach, right. you know, right. um, because I, I, I know that preaching, Dr. Gardner Taylor said preaching is a matter of life and death. And so I know that, you know, when I'm standing behind a sacred desk, it's not just a, a moment for me to shine or to be seen, but people's souls are at stake. Mm -hmm. And so I'm always approaching the sacred desk with fear and trepidation, but Hampton trepidation, trepid, trepidation, but Hampton is a different animal because preaching to preachers is always challenging. Yes. And <clears throat> excuse me, you hear all these, you know, stories. You don't want to die <laughs> before you go before you preach at Hampton. And then, of course, when people find out you're preaching, they say, "Well, I don't know whether to congratulate you or to give you my condolences." <laughs> And so, you know, it's, it's, it's very intimidating. It's very intimidating. Uh, you hear all the horror stories. You hear, you know, you don't want to die when you go to Hampton and all these kinds of things. And so I would say that preaching at Hampton was probably one of the most intimidating experiences because when the word is out that you're preaching at Hampton, everywhere you go, you ready for Hampton. <laughs> you ready for Hampton. And I'm saying to people, you know what, I have several other places that I have to preach before I get to Hampton, but I'm praying that I'll be ready. But I'll tell you what, hap what helped me the first time I preached. I was getting ready to go to the worship center and I happened to listen to my voicemail and Ralph West mm -hmm. left the message on my voicemail. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, Gina, do what you do when you're at home. Mm -hmm. If you do what you do when you're at home, you'll be fine. Yeah. And I felt a peace after I, after I received that message. And of course, the experience was not nearly as, as bad as I expected or as difficult as I expected. The audience was warm and inviting, and especially in the morning, I felt that they really came for church. Right. So, it, 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 but it was, it was really probably one of the most difficult in anticipation of that moment, right. yeah. So some of our uh, viewers may not know what the Hampton Ministers Conference is, so would you just give a brief summary of what is the Hampton <laughs> Ministers Conference? Well, the Hampton Ministers Conference meets every year annually in June. It's a wonderful conference. It's a conference where you have some of, I would say, some of the best and some of the brightest uh, who come to preach. Um, there's lectures, there's lectures, there's music, there's preaching, and of course, there are classes, there's a woman in ministry session, but it is considered to be one of the premier stages. Uh, I guess you would st say it still is, but in the, in, at that particular time, it was considered to be one of the premier stages for preaching uh, or for preachers. Mm -hmm. And uh, to receive an invitation to preach at Hampton uh, was a signal honor. And I would say it probably still is a signal mm -hmm. honor. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, being a female, as well, mm -hmm. uh, because Hampton Hampton does have have women who preach, but particularly it is a stage where you've particularly, in particular, seen more male heard more male voices than female voices. Mm -hmm.